We are back for another round of TBR Board Game Chooses My TBR. It's now July. Well, I'm filming this like two days before July hits, but either way, it's time for our July TBR. I say this every month and I always say, I'm, no, I'm not going to say that again. It's mad. June's gone. June's gone. Did I read every book on last month's TBR? No. No, of course I didn't. However, we're here to choose another one. I recently made this new board game. I will show you and I'll talk you through it once I turn my camera around and we get to actually rolling. But it's basically almost a Monopoly style game, but also kind of not because I haven't got the whole houses situation going on. But you will see once we see it, we have prompts, we have cards that literally choose the exact book that we're going to read. I usually choose around eight books because I feel like that gives me a little bit of freedom to pick up other books because I do have vlogs that have certain books that are already kind of set in stone that I need to read. So I feel like it gives me a bit of flexibility I tend to read around about 15-ish books a month. We're going to get into it because I have a feeling it might take a hot minute to get through this, but I'm going to turn this camera around and we're going to choose some books that we're going to read in July. Okay, here we have our board game. As you can see, I have kind of laid it out similar to Monopoly. However, it's ever so slightly different. So I have my folklore cardigan as my little person that's going to move around the board. As you can see, we have fantasy cards, romance cards, prompts, all of that sort of thing, thriller cards as well. So each of these cards just contains a literal book name and that's the book that I get. And then I also have my TBR jar kind of prompts here as well. If we end up picking a prompt, then I will choose one of these. I then have jail, which means that either my boyfriend or a friend or someone chooses a book for me, a free pick, and then another jail here, which is going to be the lowest rated. We also have random number generator and random letter generator, all of that sort of thing. I'm going to roll the dice eight times and we're going to choose eight books that we're going to read this month together. So I feel like it's time to roll the dice and choose the first book that we're going to be reading this month. Okay, I'm gonna take that to be a four. So we have one, two, three, four, which lands us on romance card. So I'm literally just gonna pick the first one off of here and see what you get. We've got You With A View, which I haven't actually owned for all that long, but I've been really, really excited to get to because everyone says it's amazing. And I feel like I have a perfect video that this could go in. So I am very excited about this one. Okay, time for roll number two. We have a two, so that will take us one, two, another romance card. Are we surprised at all? No. Another one I've been really desperate to get to, we have Paradise Problem by Christine Lauren. I actually received this as a PR book, my first ever actual PR book, and it was Paradise Problem by Christine and Lauren, can you believe? I'm so excited for this, I've loved all of their other books, and I feel like it is prime time to read this, seeing as it is summertime now. And roll number three, we have one, which is a Kindle Unlimited pick. I feel like I've not gotten that one before. Okay, I will come back to you on that one. After I've chosen all these, and if we get any prompts, I'm gonna go grab the books and we'll talk through them a bit more, but, Kindle Unlimited pick, I feel like gives me such a good selection, such a good selection. I don't think we've gotten that one before. I'm losing track, but I think this is roll number four now. We have another one, which takes our little cardigan over to random letter generator, another really, really fun one. That can be a random letter that is either gonna be the first letter in a title or maybe even the author's name, something like that. Again, we will come back to that one and we will do that together to see what we get. Roll number five. We have a one. Why do, we, why do I keep getting one? But we have a thriller card, which is good because another one that I don't think we've actually gotten before and I don't actually have all that many options. So I feel like this is gonna be, <gasps> okay, we have the Night Swim. I got this relatively recently, I wanna say, from 66 Books when I went shopping there. I've heard amazing things about this. I've heard people talk about it nonstop, probably quite a few years ago at this point. I haven't seen anyone recently read it. I have heard such great things and I also have a video that I'm doing this month which plays into this book very, very, very well. So I'm excited for this one. Roll number six. Oh my God, oh my God, are we joking? Are we absolutely joking? We have another one, which is gonna take us to a fantasy card. I thought I was gonna get a free pick for a second there, but no, we have a fantasy card. That's another one that I'm just gonna pick off of the top here. <gasps> we have Sword Heart by T. King Fisher. I am so excited for this book. I feel like I'm being treated today. We've had every book that I could possibly want so far, but I am so excited for this book. I'll talk about it more once I actually go and pull it out, but I have been waiting to get to this one. And I think quite possibly, it was on last month's TBR. So we're just gonna ignore that fact. But either way, excited to get to this one. Okay, we're on to roll number seven. We have a two, it's something different from a one at least, but it doesn't mean I'm skimming over free pick. So we landed on romance card. Oh my God, inner jam, what is happening? What's in the air today? I did shuffle these cards again. So maybe the shuffle gods were with me, I don't know, but I have gotten such good choices this time around. So we've got inner jam by Kate Canterbury, another one that I'm very excited for. And another one that you guys comment like incessantly on my post saying, you would love this book, you need to read this book. So <laughs> I have a strong suspicion that I'm gonna love this. Okay, we're well, onto the last roll, which is roll number eight. We have a five. 
one, two, three, four, five. Oh my God, almost on lowest rated, but we have another romance card, which is Late Bloomer. I am so excited. I, again, this is another one. It's along the same lines as like Clique You and all of my other sapphic romances that I've been wanting to get to for the longest time. And that I also really wanted to get to in June because I was gonna do a sapphic reading vlog in June, but I haven't had time. So I'm hoping to somehow cram it into July. So this plays into my hands very well. Okay, that is it for the eight books. I'm gonna go grab them off my shelves. We also need to do a random letter generator and a Kindle Unlimited pick as well. Well, so I will need to get back to you on those ones, but let's go gather the books and choose the other books that we need to put onto this TBR. Okay, I have gotten my stack of books here. We also need to do the Kindle pick and the letter generator, but I'm gonna quickly rerun through the books that the game chose for us. So we got You With A View by Jessica Joyce. I think that this one is about someone going on a road trip of some description. I think she might be an influencer or something. Um, I think she might be on TikTok, something along those lines. And she ends up going with this guy that she's somehow linked to and they have to do this road trip together and they end up forming a bit of a romance. In the meantime, I adore this cover. I think it's so cute. And I just feel like it's another one of those that's perfect for this time of year. Like I want summer reads and this is giving very much summer reads. And I feel like I might be slightly late to the party because everyone and their mum has read this book. And I feel like I just need to get to it. And I'm very, very excited for it. It gives me vibes that it'll be a quick, easy, cute summer read. I then have late bloomer by Maisie Eddings. This is a sapphic romance. It's between these two girls who one of them I think ends up somehow getting her hands on a flower farm. Like she is either given to her through an inheritance or something along those lines. She's sent to this flower farm. And when she turns up, there's already a woman there who claims to own it. And I think that then sparks this kind of rivalry situation, maybe enemies to lovers, trying to decide who rightfully owns this flower farm whilst also falling in love which I think is just wonderful. And this book also has the most summery, gorgeous cover to ever exist. Like I said, <laughs> I want to apologize. I keep trying to like apologize in all of my videos. I have said so many times that I wanted to do a sapphic reading vlog and I really wanted to do it in June because Pride Month, but I haven't had the time. I physically have not had the time. And I'm hoping, hoping beyond hope that I can get it done at some point in July and have that up for you. Whether that be a 24 hour one where I try and cram them all into a 24 hour thing. And so that's the way that I can finally get them all done. We will see, we will see, but hopefully sooner rather than later I will have a sapphic reading vlog out for you guys it's definitely happening I'm saving up all of my sapphic reads so now the fact that I've got it this month might be my final shove to actually pick this up we also have the paradise problem by Christina Lauren another one that I've seen amazing reviews for recently I didn't hear all that much about it in the lead up to it coming out and then it got sent to me <laughs> through PR again which is insane to my tiny little brain but I love the look of this another very very summery looking book I love Christina Lauren I've read I think all of their books other than maybe like one or two if that and I have loved all of them and and I don't know a thing about what this is about, but it gives me summer vibes and that's all I need. Christine and Lauren and summer vibes. Could you literally ask for anything more? No, I don't think you could. I then have The Night Swim by Megan Golden, which very much plays into my TBR for this month, which I'm very excited for. Again, you can probably tell by the fact that this is a thriller, the kind of video that I'm doing. And I think that video will be going up like two days after you see this. So this is wonderful. This was in my plans anyway, which works to my advantage. I think this is a thriller following our main character, Rachel, who is, she's a podcast host, like a true crime podcast host. And I think, she gets roped into kind of trying to solve this murder of this other woman's sister. Like I think this woman reaches out to her about her sister that died and they look into why she was murdered, how she's murdered, who did it, all that sort of thing. So I am very intrigued by this one. I saw it floating around many years ago at this point and I heard amazing things when it was. I think it was like five years ago, something like that. I've not heard very much about it recently, but it's one that I've, I've personally picked up recently because I recognized it and I knew that everyone that I've seen read it loved it. So very intrigued by this. I'm not usually much of a thriller reader. I do like one every so often, but I don't read all that many. And so I'm hoping that this one might get me into that groove of reading some more thrillers. I then have Sword Heart. I can't remember. I feel like this one was in last month's TBR. Again, we've had this discussion. Did I read them? No, obviously I didn't. I had a mad month in June. It was just non-stop. And every video I had to read like three books a week for all of my videos and it's just been insane. So I didn't have a chance to do like a spare book this month that wasn't one for a video. Otherwise it probably would have been this one because when I say I am so excited for this book, I actually can't believe it. Like I can't believe how excited I am. I do have a video going up this month that could very much lean into this book being featured. So you'll have to hang about to see what that is. But this one is kind of like a funny, 
fantasy romance situation. I think our main woman ends up pulling like a knife off of a wall or like a big sword, a sword obviously off of a wall. And when she does this, it kind of binds her to this like entity that's been living within this sword, which is our other main character, the main guy in this. And he like pops up and he's like, well, now that you've drawn this sword, I have to be like your protector, like your bodyguard. And so she's like, oh, for God's sake, that is the last thing I wanted. And they have this kind of like hate to love situation, I'm assuming. It's meant to be really funny, really, really sweet, really fun. And I say this time and time again, I have read a lot of T. Kingfisher books and I always go, I'm such a fan. But then I look back and I go, no, I've given them all. I've given one a one star, the rest of them two stars, three star maximum. So I don't know why I always think I'm such a big fan because I haven't enjoyed her books. But everyone has said, I recently literally like two days ago got a comment saying you would love this book. And I just know that I will. I know that I will. And I don't know whether that's why I'm putting it off because I'm like, it's just that guaranteed for me to love it that I kind of don't want to read it. Does anyone else get that? Because I very much do. Anyway, very excited for this. I think I finally do have a video this month that this could fall into. So it will most likely be getting read. And then the final one that the cards chose for us, we have In a Jam by Kate Canterbury. I have a, not a single clue what this is about other than I think it's a runaway bride situation. It says runaway bride, single dad, one year to get married or lose the family farm. Okay. Okay, have you ever heard a list of tropes that screams more Ellen? I love a runaway bride situation. I love a marriage of convenience. And I'm learning that I kind of love a single dad situation for some reason. So I'm very excited for this. This is chunkier than I was expecting. I have obviously looked at this book before, but I did not clock that it was 450 odd pages. Oh my God. But this is another one that I've had about a million comments saying, you need to read this, you're gonna love it. And it gives me summer vibes. It gives me summer vibes. I feel like this board game was on my side today. We got books that I'm really excited for, as well as summer books, as well as books that fit into the vlogs for this month. I don't think I've ever been this lucky before with my TBR game. So those are all of the books that the board game straight up chose for us. We now have to do a Kindle Unlimited pick and a random letter generator. The Kindle Unlimited pick, I have been having a little think whilst I was getting those off the shelf. I was like, what could I choose? What could I choose? And I was trying to choose a book that is Kindle Unlimited that I don't already own. And so I think what I'm gonna go with is Love Unwritten <laughs> by Lauren Asher. This is the second book in the Lakefront Billionaire series. I always get those names mixed up. The second book in the Lakefront Billionaire series. This has come out like, I don't even know how long ago, like probably like a week ago, if that. I'm yet to get my hands on a copy, but I really, really want to. And I have been really excited for this. I have a very love-hate relationship with Lauren Asher. Her Dirty Air series was not really for me, but I really liked her Dreamland Billionaire series. I really liked the first book, Love Redesigned, in this series. This one, I believe, is another single dad situation. I think it's a nanny situation. I'm pretty sure we've met the guy that's going to be the main guy in this. I think it's like Raphael, if I'm remembering his name correctly. But I think that it's him, and he's like a grumpy single dad, having a bit of a bad time of it. And I think some Someone comes along to be his nanny and I'm pretty sure we saw sprinklings of that in the first book and I was very very excited if this is if that's who it follows I haven't looked into it I'm gonna be honest it's like an auto buy auto read author for me so even though I have a rocky past apparently either way I'm pretty sure this song Killer Limited. I'm very, very excited for it. I just know I'm gonna be reading it at some point anyway. And it does kind of fall into a vlog that I'm doing this month. So it works out for me on all levels. The next thing we need to do is do a random letter generator. I love doing this. This can either be a letter probably at the start of a title or at the start of the author's name. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click generate letter. What does that say? You. I don't think we could have got a more difficult one. I'm gonna go have a look. We will see. I don't know if I've got anything that starts with a U or an author that has a U. Oh my God. Right, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, you are very much gonna have to bear with me on this one because I couldn't find a single author with a first or last name starting with a U or any book title that started with a U. So I stretched it a little bit. <laughs> I've gone with Next to You by Anna Burnham Young. Here, let me, let, me, let me explain myself. First of all, there is a U in the title somewhere. This also, you you. Also Hannah Bonham Young has a U in her name. So we've got a U in the author, a U in the title and the word U that sounds like the letter U. Do you see, are you catching my drift? Are you catching my drift? This is the only thing that I could do. So you're going to have to bear with me. I'm so excited for this. Hannah Bonham Young is one of those that I have heard so much about and that I've been so excited to read from. I really want to get my hands on out on a limb. I feel like that's the first one that I want to read realistically. Maybe I need to buy that for myself this month at some point. But I am so excited, so excited to read one of her books. I just think, I just have this like visceral feeling within me that I'm going to love her. I have this like strong, overwhelming feeling 
feeling that I'm gonna love her. I don't know what this book is about. I've not got a clue. I kind of don't wanna know what it's about. I just wanna read her books. I already own this one and I also have Next of Kin and I wanna get my hands on Out on a Limb as well, but I just, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Something is calling my name. Something about her is calling my name. I just think I'm gonna love her. And watch this be really embarrassing when I come back to you next month with my wrap up and I'm like, oh, by the way, I hated it. <laughs> I really hope that's not the case. But that is it for all of our books that we've got this month. I hope that you enjoyed. I feel like we have got the best stack. I think this is the best TBR that's ever been cultivated by a game or a TBR jar or anything. I feel like it very much knew what I wanted and it delivered. Maybe it was the luck of the folklore cardigan. Maybe I need to use this folklore cardigan more often because it's clearly done me very well. Anyway, that is it for this video. I hope that you have enjoyed. Stick around for the vlogs this month that I will be reading these books in. I have a lot of really, really, really fun videos coming up this month. I feel like this month is one of the months I am the most excited for videos wise, content wise. So stick around. I know these videos sometimes draw in some new people. So if you enjoy, feel free to like and subscribe and stick around. I have loads of fun vlogs and everything going up this month, as I've said. I have all of my links down below. I have my Instagram. I have my Goodreads. I have my wish list as well as some links regarding Palestine as well. Thank you very much being here. Thank you for watching and I will see you whenever I next see you.